Hey YouTubers, it's Crafty Coder here. Wanted to talk about the uh, eight-channel automotive uh, Bluetooth-controlled PDU. Uh, we've talked about this project several times before. Um, we're getting pretty close to the sort of basic minimum uh, iPhone software, and I wanted to show it off to you guys. It allows you to program the dimming level and the fuse level from the device, and uh, I wanted to show that off, so um, let's take a look here. The system is a 40 amp power supply, 5 amps worth of light bulbs on one circuit, and a programmable electronic load on another. Right now there are only two outputs set up, but you can have, like I said, up to eight. Uh, but for this demo, we'll just have two. So let's take a look at the software. Okay, it should be shown here on the screen. Um, we're going to turn on the lamps first. There we go. You can see it's barely on. Now we can adjust the duty cycle and now we're burning 5 amps. And the circuit is set to uh, fuse at 8 amps. But we're going to change that right now. We're going to change that to 3. And now we'll select that circuit and adjust the duty cycle until it trips. Turn it up again. There it goes. So clearly, three is too few. Back up to eight amps. Turn it up. You have to select the circuit. You can turn it up and turn it down. We'll shut that down. Now let's take a look at the programmable load. We'll turn that on. Okay. You can see its uh, dimmer is not turned on. That's because I've shut off PWM for that channel. I'll show you how to do that in a second. But this circuit is set to one amp fuse, so we'll turn it up and it hung out a little over one amp for about, I don't know, two seconds or so and it shut down. And we can turn that on and off again, or off and on again. Let's say we didn't think that was enough, so we wanted it to go to three amps. There we go. And now we can turn it up and we get to four amps and it shuts down. And uh, that's pretty much the basic setup. Let's go through some of the programming features here. These are uh, very initial, so uh, we'll do more with it later. But uh, you can name the channel here at the top. You can adjust the PWM for each channel. Plus you can say, I don't want any PWM by clicking that. Uh, you can set the uh, fuse current in amps, or somewhere between 500 milliamps and 15 amps. You can tell the uh, circuit to turn on after you turn on the key, or after you turn on the ignition. Tell it to turn off after you turn off the key, the ignition, or after a delay of either one minute or five minutes. And you can also program in modulation, as well as a uh, overall over system overcurrent priority. So. On another programming screen, you would say this uh, automobile can only handle, say, 30 amps. The device can handle 100, but your vehicle only can handle 30, so you would set a maximum of 30 amps. And then if you went over that number, uh, it would turn off low priority circuits until you were under that 30 amp number, and then medium priority circuits. Um, top priority circuits don't shut down, those would be maybe ones you would describe as being for your safety, so we just wouldn't shut those down regardless, uh, unless of course you went over that circuit's nominal fuse level, but the, the sum of those top uh, level priority circuits would not cause it to shut down. Alright, well that's pretty much it. We're making good progress. The next step now is to um, build one of these for the bike, because I'm going to use it on a motorcycle and uh, demo it outside on, on a bike and uh, then we'll make some uh, Kickstarter resources like a website and some Kickstarter movies and build a Kickstarter page and then hopefully we'll be able to raise enough money with the help of you guys to build these things. We're hoping to build a minimum of 200. That seems like our magic number to make this work at all. And uh, if we can do that we'll be in good shape. So, alrighty gang, 
Take care.